Thanks for logging on to CBSMiami.com. We're always tracking the tropics, and yes, quite a bit going on out there. I'm meteorologist Liz Horton in CBS4 Weather Control. Of course, we want to start with Tropical Storm Harvey. Certainly, that is going to be our strongest storm right now. It is currently moving out towards the west, past Barbados, towards the Windward Islands. As of the 8 a.m. advisory, the wind's still sitting at 40 miles per hour, and the pressure has actually risen a little bit, which is a slight sign of weakening. It'll be moving towards the west around 18 miles per hour. Could increase and forward speed a little bit, affecting possibly Honduras, Guatemala, up towards the Yucatan Peninsula as we head into the middle part of next week. This point, though, should still remain a tropical storm. Then we are really going to be watching what's happening to the east of Harvey. This wave you see right here has a 70% chance of development from the National Hurricane Center. And so we will be watching that because some models show that as we go into the middle part of next week, possibly earlier part of next week, we could be seeing some shower activity from this. Now, right now, it's still an open area of circulation, so it hasn't even become a closed low yet. So there are a lot of things that could change with this. doesn't look like it's going to be too conducive for major strengthening at this point, but certainly could see a bit of effect from that. So we will keep a close eye on it for you. And this wave here near the Cabo Verde Islands has now a medium chance of development in the next five days, uh, only about a 10 percent chance of development in the next two days so we're not too worried about it right now but it will be something we'll once again keep our eye on and of course for those of you that are wondering what's going to happen with Harvey the warnings right now extend all the way from St. Lucia down towards the Grenadines Barbados now out of that as the system has moved away tropical storm watch still for Dominica luckily no advisories will be issued for our area we'll continue to update you throughout the day you can always get the latest on the tropics right here at CBS miami.com